Hello hens. How are we all doing? How are we all holding up? Listen, one of my favourite things to do on YouTube is give your opinion when absolutely nobody has asked to hear it. It's an internet tradition. And I'm going to be rating every single Sims flop. I mean, is it every single Sims flop? Probably not. The main Sims flops. That's what we're going to be doing today. Is this classed as meta? I've never been able to understand the definition of meta. Referring to itself or to the conventions of its genre. Self-referential. I don't understand. I don't Understand, I've never quite got what it means. Is it meta to rank Sims flops? Or is that not meta? I don't know. But moving on, moving on. Also, I just want to say before I pull this green screen up, let me just do a little announcement. I'm not just going to be shitting for the sake of shitting today. Today, I'm actually going to be providing constructive criticism and saying why each thing was a flop and how it could have been better. I absolutely love the Sims franchise and I don't want to see it die. So this is my opinions as somebody who has... Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. Played the Sims since the year 2000. I did it. This is my thoughts and opinions on flops and how to avoid them. Let's get judging, lads. Do I be orange? Am I orange? Now I'm blue, dab it. Do I look? Look how fucking green you look, girl. Fiona before Olga. Fiona after midnight. The way in which, oh wait, my Google history is like, what is the Louisiana purchase? <laughs> anyway, I have rated these in, in order of like flops throughout history, because I didn't want the flops to be rated by just purely the Sims. So at the top, we've got Germany invading Russia during the winter. Not saying that this was a bad thing that it flopped, like thank God it flopped, do you know what I mean? But still, it is a big fat flop nonetheless. And thank you, Jesus. Next up, we've got anything said by JK Rowling post 2011, because because I don't want to hear anything out of my mouth now. I thought J.K. Rowling telling us that wizards used to have just vanquished the business out with the pants was bad enough. And then she thought that people wanted to hear a general opinion on Twitter and that is not correct. <laughs> Next up, this one is submitted by RT Game, thanking you because I was, was really struggling to just find a middle ground. That's not necessarily a catastrophic flop, but not necessarily a lesser flop either. It's you who refusing to buy Google. Daniel, thank you for the suggestion. And I can't change it now because I've already made the tea maker. I just want Ask Jeeves to be in the middle bit now. Next up, we've got Britney Spears burning down her gym. And this is when we get to the tier of, mm, it is somehow quite a flop, but also the flop has also kind of brought some entertainment to the table, do you know what I mean? But still, it's quite a sad thing because she left a candle on. And then right at the bottom, we have Susan Album Party. Susan Boyle was a contestant on Britain's Got Talent. She had a beautiful, stunning voice. She was Scottish, which is quite close to the northeast of England, closer than London, so please adopt us. She's done very, very well on Britain's Got Talent and released an album. And to promote this album, they used the hashtag Susan Album Party on Twitter, which, if looked at differently, reads as Sue's Anal Bum Party. Technically, it could be a bit of a flop, but all in all, this flop actually turned out to be really good. So that's basically the categories that we've got. I'm I'm just going to start Katy Perry Sweet Treats. Now, Katy Perry Sweet Treats is, I'm not necessarily a stan, but I wouldn't say I objectively dislike the last quite new world. And I'm really picking my words carefully because I know that the Sims community, not as a whole, but the Sims community is in your van, may potentially be one of my best friends. He is a big fat stan of Katy Perry and he absolutely loves this stuff pack, which is why I'm choosing my words carefully because I'm not about to end a friendship. Honestly, objectively, bit of a cash grab. The stuff that was included with this pack also is very, niche. In fact, the stuff in here, I don't even think of a context in which I would use it. But just because I can't think of a context in which I would use it does not mean that there wouldn't be a context in which Yov Yavan, the Sims community, wouldn't use it. I mean, kind of a flop for me, but also if you're a Katy Perry fan and you like cute stuff, it's all right. So that's why this one is going to go in Yahoo! Refusing to buy Google. Get out the way now. The Sims 4, my first pet stuff, are completely different to Sims 3 Katy Perry Sweet Treats because the Katy Perry Sweet Treats, there's an audience there. Where the Sims Sims 4 My First Pet Stuff literally included objects from an expansion pack that had just been cut out. And I don't improve this, I would say don't cut things out of expansion packs and don't sell an add-on to an expansion pack. Can't say I ever use it because morals. That one's going to go in Germany invading Russia during winter because I just can't think of a situation in which the Sims team sat down and looked at that and thought, this will go down well. We're not doing it, sorry. We're not approving of it, sorry. The Sims 4 Strangeville and Bella Goth are not being revealed as the mother when there was all this theorising and all this promotion towards the mother wears 
red, the mother wears red, the mother wears red. What Sims Townie is the most involved with all Sims conspiracies? Bella Goth. Who wears a red dress? Bella Goth. What gets the Cooney talking? Bella Goth. Who was hinted towards being the mother? Bella Goth. What was the mother? A plant. And also, I did say that I would provide constructive criticism. One of the greatest things about the previous Sims pack is the law. Me, myself, and I, and the rest of the Sims community is all still talking about Bella Goth. Big fat missed opportunity, my loves. We like to have backstories. Some people don't have the create. By some people, I mean me. I'm calling myself out here. I don't have the creativity to make that much backstories to my Sims. So if a backstory is presented to me and it's solid, I absolutely love to see it. I need to be given the storyline, not put the pieces together. Yahoo refused to buy Google because Strangerville could have been a lot better if it was pulling from the actual Sims law that already existed and adding upon that rather than shotting a different storyline in that nobody really resonated with. People got to resonate. Nostalgia sells. We're going to go with the Ego Lifestyle trailer, not the expansion pack. And I want to make myself clear the trailer didn't do a very good job initially of showing what the pack entailed, but did do a very good job at riling up the community. Anything said by Jake at Roland post 2011, because I would put it up here, but the pack in itself did not flop, so I can't put it as high as I can. I'm gonna go with The Sims 4 Ball Pool. This ball pool was released with toddler stuff. It was, it's an obnoxiously large ball pool for your toddlers. Don't ask me for why, because I gen genuinely don't know why everything in The Sims has gotta be so oversized. I'm gonna put it in Britney Spears burning down a gym. Much like Britney Spears burning her gym down is objectively bad, and I objectively feel bad for her. Subjectively, we got some pretty good content out of it, and there was, a lot of good memes coming out of Britney Spears burning a gym down because she left a candle on. For example, James Turner, formerly known as Sim Supplies video, where he pretended to be Steve Jobs and introduced the ball pool. So all in all, technically a flop, but we still got some good content out of it. The whim system in The Sims 4, anything said by J.K. Rowling post 2011, it represents an issue on a grander scale. Being that these whims are so frivolous and they're so like, I really want to buy a chair. One of them's got a punching glove on and I was like, oh yeah, get the fuck in, go acca, go mental it'll go off it. I love to see it. No, that one was just, I want to have a war balloon fight. I don't like being the one to constantly push gameplay and make up stories and everything like that. I do like to be pushed by the game a little bit. So in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, this worked really well because you had the wants and fears system and you had the, the moodlets and the wants and everything. And that really pushed forward how you would play the game as your Sim. The wants and fears system is so lacklustre and it's so empty. And there's also no don't wants, it's just whims. Nothing's really pushing your gameplay along. And that means that gameplay can become stagnant very fast. I mean, the graphics are great, the build and buy mode is the best that we've ever seen, but the gameplay, the gameplay could be amazing in The Sims 4, honestly. It's just that nothing's got sustenance to it. Like, can my Sim just not lose a shit just one time? Like, I just want a notification to come up and be like, I'm gonna break up with my husband and leave my kids. What a die. What a die. This one's kind of a couple in one, right? Caliente and Lothario family in The Sims 4. Now, the Caliente and Lothario family, my, their storyline, they are so intertwined with The Sims games and Balagor Goth and Don Lothario ending up in The Sims 3. Like, it's all, it's all gone Pete Tong in The Sims 4, let me tell you. Because Don was in a relationship, I, I might be wrong on this, with both of the Caliente sisters, or maybe one of. I'm not too sure on the facts right here. But in The Sims 4, which isn't on an alternate timeline, but there's only so much I can forgive. In The Sims 4, he's going out with the man. Now, I'm not wanting to judge, but I just can't help it. Love, something about that just really strikes me the wrong way. I don't like that. Plus, he's got next to no and he's living with them as teen. Honey, I'm not doing it, sorry. No, again, it's gonna go in your who refusing to buy Google. Objectively bad, but not the worst thing, you know? The Sims 4 Mac collaboration. Makeup is very lacking in The Sims 4, and don't take this the wrong way if any of The Sims team are watching this. I think that the reason that the makeup is lacking in The Sims 4 is because they can't make makeup in The Sims 4. I said it, I'm sorry, but I'm also not sorry. The makeup is high fashion, I guess, but unless that's a synonym, him for bad. I'm just, I'm, I don't know my lovelies. I really don't know. If I was Mac, well technically I'm McNamara, but if I was like the makeup brand, I just don't think that these are the things that I would want representing me. Can I blame The Sims that much with this one? I don't know. I do think that they do need to improve the makeup skills, but also we don't know which direction Mac wanted to push The Sims team with this, honestly. So The Sims team might have just been following what Mac wanted. You hear refusing to buy Google 20th anniversary hot tub. I'm just putting this in Germany invading Russia during the winter because it's not even just the hot tub. The entire 20th anniversary did feel a bit like a slap in the face, honestly, because the 20th anniversary all revolved around The Sims 4. Even just graphics, the 
should have been just more graphics. There should have been more things representing all the Sims games. Or even just a video. For the 21st anniversary when you're officially an adult, just DM me and I will make you a video about Belagoth, please. The Sims 4 Moschino stuff. People weren't excited about this and I was one of them people. And I was like, I just don't want to see it. Sorry. Not for me. Sorry. But honestly, this one is going straight in Susan or Bum Party because probably not many people who play the Sims game can wear Moschino. Or would like to for that matter because the designs are a bold choice, let's say. But I actually think the Sims team done a very, very good job at making that bridge between an external business like Moschino and what Simmers actually want. Because Moschino is very like modern, high fashion, perhaps. Could never be me, but <laughs> I just expected to be outraged over that pack. And honestly, I do be finding myself using the items quite a lot. So the final one, we just have I'm sorry to this man, but we just have The Sims 4. I don't just mean The Sims 4 as of right now, by the way. I mean The Sims 4 in the context of 2014 when it first came out. There's a reason I didn't start playing The Sims 4 until 2017. The base game neighborhood screens were pretty much black and white, no character. Babies were back to being objects. There was loading screens again. There wasn't ghosts, there wasn't pools. There was no firemen, no policemen, no burglars. There was just a lot that was stripped back and The Sims 4 base game was a flop at the time. So it's gotta go in Germany invading Russia during winter because The Sims team have no right to objectify and experience. I said what I said. The Sims 4 was a social experiment. I'm telling you it's a social experiment to see what we actually miss and we miss babies thank you i will save this hello save oh that's nice well i will leave the link but that is the end of this shit i always do that too what are you talking for me to get that is the end of this list my love please thank you all very very much for watching please let me know what you think in the comments down below i do be loving these ranking videos this is just a light-hearted it's not that serious i mean one of the categories is britney spears burning down a gym and sue's anal bum party so take everything that i say with a pinch of salt that's everything that i have for your day i really hope you enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already the link will be at why am i going at jojo see with speed it's because of this coffee i tell you honey but that is everything that i have for your day see how i'm an see how i'm, an see how I'm enunciating now there we go third time's the charm and i shall see you in the next one bye, -bye, 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 -bye guys Thank you.